So we're going to find coordinates given the slope, and the directions are going to say something along these lines. Find the value of r, that's a variable, so that the line through points 1, 4, and negative 5 r has a slope of 1 third. Okay, so what I do is I go back and I remember what that slope formula looked like. And it said m equals y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Now I'm going to bring down my ordered pairs. And the fact that they tell me slope is 1 third. So I'm going to keep all that information here. And I'm going to rename my ordered pairs so I can keep track of them. x sub 1, y sub 1, that's my 1, 4. And then I'm going to do x sub 2, y sub 2 for my negative uh, 5 R. And I'm going to highlight my slope in red. And all I'm going to do is take that information and substitute it back into the equation. So where it says M, I'm going to substitute in 1 third. And then there's going to be a couple things that are going to stay constant. We've got a subtraction in the numerator, subtraction in the denominator. We've got a fraction bar. So now for y2, I had an r minus y1, I had 4. And then for uh, x2, I had negative 5. And for x sub 1, I had 1. All right, now I'm going to try to do as much math as I possibly can. Now on the right side, I can't do anything with the numerator. Let's erase that, make that a little bit more clear. But in the denominator, I can do negative 5 take away 1. And what's negative 5 take away 1? Negative 6. So the next thing, in order to solve this, I need to recognize what I have. I have a fraction equal to a fraction. What's that called? What's it called? It's called a proportion. And what do I do to solve a proportion? So we use cross products or cross multiplying to solve. So we've got a plan. So I'm going to start. Now I've got three times a quantity. So when I do that, I have to use parentheses. So I'm going to multiply the three times the quantity, r minus 4. And then I'm going to set it equal to the product I get the other direction, which is the 1 times the negative 6. Well, I can do that. 1 times negative 6 is negative 6. Now, the simplest way to solve this is to just distribute. So I get 3 times r, oops, sorry, is 3r. And the 3 times the negative 4 is the negative 12, oops. And that equals negative 6. And then I just solve out this simple equation. So next I would add 12 to both sides. And I get 3r equals positive 6. And then I divide both sides by 3. And I get r equals 2. So basically, when the y value of the second point is 2, then those two points will make a slope of 1 third. Okay? So that's what's in the book that you're going to be practicing for your homework tonight. I don't know why I did that. Sorry. Go back to normal. And that's it.